to the woodshed this week i had a request for more brad paisley stuff now over on my patreon uh shameless plug uh we did some brad paisley lessons and i made an axe effects tone and handed that out over there and talked about some of brad's playing wildly popular and some folks wanted more of it so what i'm bringing you this week is a boot camp this is a basic entry level if you've never even attempted country guitar playing some of the things that i think make brad sound like Brad. Okay, let's get the gear stuff out of the way. I'm using my Andy Wood Signature Sir Modern that's really, really awesome. It is, uh, I got my signature pickups in it and I think they're a perfect fit for the classic Telecaster sound. Brad plays a lot of vintage tellies modded by McVeigh. And basically, Crook builds a lot of them too. So the ones that aren't vintage are by Crook. You can check those guitars out really good. Uh, the pickups that I've got in my signature model I think really work for country guitar playing. So that's what I'm using. Now for gear, I'm using a Fractal Axe FX set on an AC30 top boost with a little slap back. You can emulate this in pretty much anything. I mean, I've got a micro cube and you just go to the Vox setting on that. If you want to be super accurate, you go buy a vintage Telecaster or a Crook Telecaster and you get a Dr. Z prescription extra strength or you get a vintage AC30 top boost. I mean, that's really the answer. So Brad has a unique sound, but you can achieve it in Kempers and neural DSPs and fractals and all that kind of good stuff. All right, sit back, relax, and let's look at Brad Paisley's playing and get you introduced to that style and maybe even fake out some of that G-Bender stuff that he's doing. Check it. All right, guys, on our Brad Paisley boot camp kind of thing, the elephant in the room is the G-Bender. How do you emulate the G-Bender sound? A G-Bender is a device that hangs on the strap. There's a lever, and you hang your strap on your body, and you pull down. It will move the lever. The lever will move a, me a mechanism in here, and it will bend the G-string for you. So Brad has this, and it allows him to emulate these pedal steel kind of moves. So let's just look at a way that we can use uh, subtle sleight of hand to emulate Brad's G-Bender stuff, okay? Let's play out of the key of A, and we're gonna have this sound. Very classic kind of Brad sound. Okay, what makes this unique is he would be playing that will be a bend, right? So we can't bend it, and we don't want to play it with just single notes. It's not that kind of sound. The way you can emulate it, uh, again, this isn't. This is just how you can get by without a with a guitar that doesn't have a G bender. Is keep the notes in place that you're using, and you get that overtone, that ringing kind of sound. Now, obviously. This doesn't sound like this. It's not the same kind of sound, but it's close enough. Experiment using that in different places. Again, it's this shape that we all know, but it's, it's kind of phrased unique. There it is again up here in the key of D. Now the next evolution of that would be looking at how you can have you know you're going to have the major third this might be something a lot of you guys have played a lot of you can the blues rock thing the chuck berry thing right there's some nice way that you can use these classic licks and make them sound more like brad that kind of move where you're using a lot of double stops and on 
that move, I was connecting A with this. And you can tell there's a lot of influence in Brad's playing from guys like Jimmy Olander, Ray Flack, Brent Mason, all these kind of players, right? John Jorgensen. You can hear it in his playing. Uh, one being... I hear that as a total Brent Mason thing. Those kind of things that Brent would do. Right? So I hear that in Brad's playing. So you could take this classic blues rock lick, make it a little more country with the double stops and the chicken picking. Get a little more Brad in there. And you get that kind of sound. It sounds more authentic to Paisley's playing, right? Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is chromatics. Brad uses a lot of chromatics, and they're all over the place. One that I really love is the intro to Long Sermon. It's on his first record. So we're going to have this kind of thing right here. Playing out of A. And that's where he would have that B bender. So let's look at how he's using chromatics. It's very much not too far off, I think, as the way Van Halen would just play shapes. You know, oftentimes he would find something that really worked on a string set and walk it all the way down. Hot for teacher, right? That thing that works all the way down. Now, what's interesting about Brad is you could, you, you could use it through a major pentatonic scale like he's doing in Long Sermon. <laughs> That's the full lick. Ah. And then he starts into that pedal tone thing. Those kind of licks, right? So looking at chromatics, he uses them major pentatonic, minor pentatonic. This kind of tag is a bluegrass-esque tag where you would have... One more time. You can use them up here. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about in our Brad Paisley boot camp is his use of open strings. He's always just popping and flipping these strings all over the place, man. So... Uh, you might have something that would, let's just take a basic one, that would be this sound. Now with open strings, we're not going to do this. It's not that kind of thing. There's almost like a, a dedication that he puts the pick on the lower string if he's got a pair of strings and dedicates the middle finger to the upper, upper pair or the upper string, right? Of the pair. <laughs> There, let's take a basic building block. Okay, and he uses this all over the place. He would maybe even use a minor pentatonic. And this open string thing that's middle finger down, middle finger down, middle finger down. <laughs> So there you have it. There's some Brad Paisley boot camp for you. Hope to get you started down this path. And uh, if you've studied a lot of Brad's play, maybe this can you know shed light on something else. And if you're a master of Brad's playing, maybe you'll post a link to your video teaching me how to do it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out this week in the woodshed. If you're looking for this patch, I have it for sale. Uh, it's also in my Patreon. So patreon.com slash Andy Wood Music. I uh, have over 600 posts there. We do a live weekly masterclass on Zoom. Really fantastic. We do it every Wednesday at around 7 p.m. Eastern when I'm touring. We just do it and I'm in a hotel room. It's you get some backstage access. There's also tons of lessons, a great Discord community, and then you can even book private lessons with me through Patreon. If you're looking for my tour schedule, uh, albums and music and 
all that kind of good stuff. Maybe even looking for transcriptions to some of my songs like Forgotten Secrets and Junk Town, Reach, stuff like that. That's going to be available at andywoodmusic.com. Hope to see you guys soon. Let me know in the comments what you think. And please click that like and subscribe button. Cheers.